and welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. Uh, there was a Magic Farm 2 update. My floor looks a little weird. That's because the round pearl brick blocks, I'm trying to s <laughs> say that slowly so as not to butcher it, from Mariculture apparently have gone away. And this is just the straight up brown pearl blocks. Like so. Let me get my hot bar back. There we go. And do you know what? Um, they can stay. And it, it looks weird. But it looks kind of cool. I might come in later on and, you know, put something else up here. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. It'll it'll be fine for now. So what we're going to do today, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I did the um, Horizons Kitchen Tour and caught some stuff and had a commenter ask about seaweed and sushi and all the stuff that goes with that. Yes, that is what we're going to do today. We are going to play with some Japanese food. I was going to build a whole Japanese restaurant. I might still do that sometime, but I just got home here about an hour ago, and I've got to get this video done. So, <laughs> what we're going to do first, uh, we do not have tempura, sadly, but what we can do is grill some asparagus. So, we can just pretend that's, that's being deep fried in tempura batter. But first, we're going to make, let me just clear this out here. We're going to make a little uh, miso soup. Now this is going to take a little bit of, you know, pretending here, a little imagination. First we're going to make a stock, and we're going to make a stock out of, what is miso? It's fermented soybean paste. We do not have that per se, but we do have plain old soybeans. So we will make the miso stock, and put it here. And then to that, I guess I should have left the pot in the mixing bowl up there. We will add a little bit of seaweed and some mushrooms. The place that I go to uses sliced mushrooms. And this is called, uh, it's called a garden soup, but we know what it is. It's miso. So that is our little starter meal there, L little appetizer. And while the asparagus is going, there we go, we've got an asparagus out here. The next thing we are going to make is sushi. Now there are several ways you can make sushi. All of them require a cutting board rice and some form of seaweed. Now this is a squid. This would be the ika, I believe. Squid squid. And notice it's raw calamari, not cooked, not the mariculture calamari in a bowl. Now we'll just use our uh, generic vanilla fish, which also makes a nice sushi. Fortunately, there's no visible difference. And finally, we can do the uh, Inari Sushi. We can just pretend that that's deep fried with the rice stuffed in it. And there we go, nice little sushi platter here. Um, I wonder, I'm afraid that it's not going to work with the BiblioCraft plate, but let's just try it. Um, yeah, there we go. I, it's, it looks kind of, kind of weird, but there we go. Sushi sitting on the plate. Now, you can also um, take the, thanks to Growthcraft, there is a recipe for rice balls, like so, but yeah, that's kind of kind of boring, kind of bland. Probably doesn't restore that much hunger either. Now, what do we do about dessert? Well, unfortunately, green tea ice cream is not a thing in Magic Farm, or in any other mod farms I know. But, you can take your mixing bowl, you can take some silken tofu, and a strawberry, and make a, a strawberry tofu ice cream out of that. What do you drink with this meal? Well, you can either take your tea leaves and smelt them, there's nothing in that furnace, there we go. You can smelt a tea leaf, and it will give you a cup of hot green tea, eventually. <laughs> There we go. Or, if you're a grown-up, you can make the Growthcraft Sake. And I'm just going to uh, slurp that down right now. And it actually didn't make me tipsy. Okay. Good to know. And it uh, does give you a little... Oh, it did. Okay. Uh, well, it doesn't seem to be. I don't have the nausea effect, so... I just have little 
little fart lines coming off me. Okay. So speed and jump boost with that. Wee. And we'll just uh recycle the bottle here. And yeah, we got tea in there. We've got our uh, tempura asparagus in there. And there are some other uh, Asian recipes. There's some fried rice, there's some curry rice, there's some uh, orange chicken, I think. Some other good stuff like that. That's Chinese. That's not really in the scope of the Japanese restaurant or Japanese meal, but whatever. Oh, well, I thought there was an orange chicken. Maybe there's not. Oh, there is. Okay, just, yeah, there's the, there's the orange chicken. But we will get into Chinese food another time. But next week, uh, we will be taking a little field trip to my survival house, such as it is. Well, okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> we'll be taking a field trip to my survival house and learning how to make some early, easy foods that will save your butt in the early stage of the game. So, until then, bon appetit. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.